Sean Dawson is a one-man foraging machine. Today, one of the plants he's gathering is dandelions. Uh, a lot of people in Newfoundland call them pista beds. An annoying weed to many, but Sean is helping re-educate people about their value. Turns out dandelions aren't just for salads, but can also be used in beer. Today I'm picking the dandelion flowers for a IPA, a seasonal IPA that uh, Mill Street Brewery is doing. This isn't the career your high school counselors told you about, but it's where Dawson spends his days, in the woods where he gathers plants like creeping snowberry leaves. If you eat them, they're actually like really minty. They have really minty aftertaste. Stinging nettles, another overlooked treat. It makes a really nice pesto, and you just make it the same as a basil pesto, but you, uh, you blanch, blanch the greens first to uh, take away the sting. These plants flourish in the nitrogen-rich soil near an abandoned chicken farm. One of the pleasures of spending your days outdoors is the opportunity to see wildlife, like this foot-long rat. Woo! <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> no way. Dawson also gathers in abandoned fields like this, where Japanese knotwood, known for ruining gardens and even house foundations, produces delicious spring shoots. It's a pretty hated plant, but uh, I've learned to love it. And then there's this, morel mushrooms, one of the world's most prized wild mushrooms. They aren't supposed to grow on the Avalon Peninsula, but Dawson believes they were brought in with some imported garden mulch. People call me and or like message me all the time and say like what's this and what's that and mo most of the time it's not nothing uh, choice or edible. But when she showed me a picture of these, I was like I rushed to her house, I dropped everything, it was gone. It's not always sunshine and t-shirts, but demand is so high that Dawson says he's out gathering in all kinds of weather, sometimes up to 80 hours per week. I regularly supply Raymond's and Chinch to uh, Gypsy Tea Room, Adelaide. Um, Go to Mallard a lot, uh, Merchant Tavern. Uh, most of them that are interested in using wild food for sure. It means Dawson spends his days in some of the province's most beautiful spots, but it also means he's always on the move. Mark Quinn, CBC News, somewhere in the woods near St. John's.